All right, YouTube, how are you guys doing? In this video, I'll be doing speed tests between these three machines here. First of all, I'm going to do a Geekbench score of this new 27 inch 2011 version machine. Then I'll be doing a boot up test between all these three machines. And then lastly, I'll be doing iMovie exporting test to be specific. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and start test number one, which is the Geekbench score. And let's run the test. Run benchmark. And this is the Geekbench 64 bit version. And I thought it would be only fair to use a 64-bit version. And we're almost done. Let's see what kind of score we have. I was trying it on earlier and it was coming up to you. 9243. Now let's submit this onto their forum or their main HQ. And let's compare it with other Macs in the same category. Or not in the same category, but all the Macs in general. Mac benchmark chart. And here we go, we've got all kinds and all sorts of Macs shown here. Let's see where our Mac is. There we go guys, this is where the iMac 27 it stacks up. It stacks up right in between here and we've got the Mac Pro 8 core beneath it and above it we have the X of early 2008. I've ran this test quite a few times and I'm getting the same result which is just over 9200. So yeah, that's the Geekbench score out of the way and let's move on to test number two. So here are all the three Macs, none of them have any USB devices connected to them, only the power cable. And let's go ahead and put them on. I'm going to put the two iMacs on first, this being the latest one, the 2011, and this being my personal one, and this again being the MacBook Air. I'm going to leave the MacBook Air for a few seconds later because I haven't got three hands. But let's go ahead and put the iMacs on, if my hand will reach. So one, two, three, boom, both of them on, and then the MacBook Air. And because of the SSD, I expect the MacBook Air to win, and rightly so, the Apple logo has showed up on the MacBook Air first, despite it, um, you know, kind of starting up late. And this is all thanks to the SSD, so if you are going for an SSD setup, you will get, you know, faster loading up times and opening up applications. There is a premium to pay for SSDs, and rightly so, Apple charged £380. And there we go, this iMac, the new iMac has started up first, all the icons have loaded up as well. Note, both of these machines have the same user setting, same type of applications, nothing is different, both are a time machine backup of each other. Um, and this iMac is still loading up. Hey, hey, finally! So yeah guys, number one, number two, and number three, hey hey! So in this final test, I'm going to be exporting the same video on both machines using iMovie and just to give you an idea of what the exporting differences are like, let's go ahead and press export at the same time and let's see and compare, let me press this record button and you can see from your left hand side, my own iMac 27 inch is quoting me 24 minutes and if we shift over to the new 2011 inch iMac this is quoting me 18 minutes and if your maths is correct you can work that one out and obviously because the one on the right hand side the new iMac has got a Sandy Bridge processor it's obviously going to give you kind of better speeds it's to be noted both of these are quad core machines both are core i5 other than the clock speeds are different and this one here my own one has got a 12 gigs of ram whereas this one here has got 4 gigs of ram but guys that's it for the speed test stay tuned for more coverage on the new 2011 27 inch iMac gaming test and photoshop test so stay tuned for that uh, other than that guys thanks for watching remember you can join me on iglassweegian.com twitter.com slash i6glassweegian and guys thanks for watching cheers